You know how stressful it is when guidance systems go down. You lose field time. You lose yield potential. You lose patience. Help is here. Raven Cruiser 2 RTK with Slingshot. Precision. Simplified. Learn more at ravensimple.com. Our Weed of the Week is a brand new one, Darren. Yeah. You know, barely ever <laughs> seen on farms. No, I'm kidding. It's common lamb's quarters. It's all over the place. We used to see it a lot when we would haul manure on our farm. But you know what? It seems to be in every field in the country now. Well, common lamb's quarter is one of the easiest weeds for me to identify. You look at the plant, it's a broadleaf weed. It's an annual weed, so it's got a simple root system. But at the top, it's got this silvery powder. Yep on the leaves, and sometimes you'll see that in the underside of the leaves as well. That's just a telltale sign that you have common lambs. The biggest quarters. challenge we have for control, it's an annual weed, it shouldn't be that difficult, but it's got like a zillion growing points when it's only about four or six inches tall. And it starts very early in the season. That was the first <laughs> broadleaf weed yep. that we were seeing out in our fields this winter and early spring because we had such a warm spring. So many guys were out putting a burn down on, you know, in places where, wow, I normally don't even have any weeds, <laughs> but it's coming so early this year, we've had to burn it down. Yep, all right, let's talk about it in corn and wheat because it's easy there. We'll get to soybeans in a little bit. Okay, with corn, you could certainly start with verdict or balance flex. Both are going to have burn down activity. Personally, I like the verdict just a little bit better depending on what rate you're using. You may have to mix some Roundup in there as well to get a great burn down on it. Hey, Banvel's a good burn down product too. We're, we're using some of that on our farm as a burn down pre-emerge. Well, you could use that post-emerge if you want. I prefer status. It's a little bit better. If yep. you want to go with a different mode of action, Callisto and Laudus and Impact are very good as well. So when you get to wheat, it's really not that difficult to control. Pre-emerge, you've got Sharpen, you've got Prepare. They'll both do a decent job. Post-emerge, Husky is probably the best, but there are many other products that have activity. Well, the toughest place to control lamb's quarters is in soybeans. You have to start with a good pre-emerge herbicide, partly because it comes early in the year, but partly because there aren't really great post-emerge herbicides that don't ding your soybeans up while killing the lamb's quarters. So pre-emerge, if you're doing tillage, I really like Treflan. That does a nice job. You could also mix some Sencor in right with it. That's one of my favorite combos. I like Authority MTZ. Authority First or Authority Assist aren't quite as good as Authority MTZ as on lamb's quarters. Valor does a nice job too. A lot of good pre-emerge choices. Post-emerge, then it gets a little bit more limited. Yeah, Harmony SG is the best. There are generic options now that are less expensive, but it's really tough when you get post-emerge because things like Flexstar, Pursuit, they're just not real great on it. Oh, you know, we talked about soybeans. Any of these broadleaf crops, it's tough to control this lamb's quarters weed. Let's talk about sunflowers real quick. If you've got sunflowers, you need to do Spartan Charge plus either Prowl or Sonalamp. Post-emerge, there are zero options, nothing you can do that's safe to the sun. Well, getting your alfalfa established, I really like putting down some Eptam pre-emerge at four pints per acre. It does a nice job controlling a lot of these small seeded broadleaves like lamb's quarters. So you can get a good early stand on your alfalfa. Because think about it, if you have to try and kill that lamb's quarter, you're going to spray buckthrow out there. Yep. And that can be a little hard on newly emerged alfalfa. Well, once again, our Weed of the Week is common lamb's quarters. Make sure you're stopping it on your farm. That's it for today's Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is is coming up next.